Hello mga kaleki! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this short video, I will share how to perform GMDSS radio batteries annual performance test. The GMDSS radio unit on board has two power source. The normal 24 volts power supply and the backup 24 volts batteries. Of course, we need to make sure that all backup batteries on board are still in good working condition. We normally check the batteries once a week. But this GMDSS radio batteries annual performance test is required and to be recorded in the GMDSS radio logbook. We can also monitor the voltage output in the radio display console and we don't need to measure it directly to the batteries in the battery room. Now let us begin how to carry out this performance test. The first step is to shut down the main power supply breaker for this radio unit. Remember, both visual and audible alarm are very important so that in the event of the power failure, it will draw the attention of the bridge duty officer and immediately inform the person in charge in all electrical system on board. Now that the main power supply is cut off and the backup batteries is in service, we just need to lift up the handset and press the push to talk button or the transmit button in the handset to transmit. While we are transmitting, we need to record the voltage reading. As you can see, we have a 24.8 volts reading and this procedure will take place for at least 24 hours. Of course, we have other work to do within the day. So I need the help of a bridge duty officer to take a voltage reading every 30 minutes, especially during night time. All I have to do is to come back at the next day to check the voltage record sheet. After the 24 hours of GMDSS radio unit running only on its backup batteries and based on the 24 hours voltage reading, we can now analyze if the backup batteries are still in good working condition. If the voltage drops abnormally or has a very low voltage output, it means that the batteries are need to be replaced. But here in my performance test, I can see that our batteries are still in good working condition and the voltage output is still within normal range of 24 volts. Now we are finished with the performance test, I will switch on now the main power supply breaker and the failure alarm disappear. The last procedure is to record the performance test in the GMDSS radio logbook. This is an official logbook which normally checked by some port state control or authorities. All the maintenance and performance tests or any other issue in our GMDSS radio unit should be recorded in this logbook. So Kaleki, I hope you like this short informative video about GMDSS Radio. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Once again, this is your friend Lucky Louie. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.